Hi and welcome to Climbing Daily. On this week's episode of our ice climbing series, Dave and Isabel take us through building some bomber ice anchors. So let's pretend that we've got to the top of an ice climb and we want to build a belay or we're going to be setting up a top rope yeah. to practice some ice climbing. Um, so I put one screw in and I know it's really good, it had a good core coming out, it's a nice long 22 centimetre screw. So what do I do next to make the, make the belay? So you want uh, the second ice screws to be uh, not next to, to the one you've placed. So if there's a damage of the ice here, I mean it would be um, taking the pressure off another area. So you give it like half of a, about like half of, a, of your, your, your forearms, half of your arms. So I'll put, I'll put a new one in and I'll just make it a little bit further away. Okay, so I've just put it in, but it's not gone all the way in because it's stuck against the rock. So it's not ideal. So you'd want, especially for a belay, you'd really want them to be absolutely okay. 100% sure. So you, you, yeah. what you want is to find another placement and then obviously now it's touching the rock. So you want probably a shorter one. So what's the next stage? We link them all together like yeah, we would with the... We link them all together. A lot of the belays on bolts, they are done where you you just twist one turn here. So that way the belay is always equalized. Yeah. But on ice, you don't want to do that because the problem is if one of the pieces fails, so it would go whoop, and that would give and then that would shock uh, load. They would shock load the other one. There's several ways of doing it. You can make an overhand knot. But you have to make sure that you know exactly where you want to belay because you want it to be equalized. So I can belay from here, but I can't belay over there. Otherwise, it would be putting only the strength on this one. So that's the first way to do it. Another way would be to make a knot on the rope. And that takes less rope because you only have one knot here and then you can move your knot where you want it. So you go up to there and you clip here. Yeah, here. Excellent. Another way I do it very often is a combination of what we've seen. I make two knots. I don't tighten them because I can move them afterwards. So I try to make them just an overhand knot. Two screw gates. And I try to see where my belay is going to be. So, I mean, what I want is a bit of, well, we, we basically, what we're setting up is um, ideal for top roping. So you, so you clip this one and then you make a twist. And that way, the belay can move around. So if you you want someone to climb more on this side, it's, it's it's always equalized. And if you want someone to climb on this side, it's always equalized. And these these knots stop it. For example, if one piece goes, it's not going to fully shock load. Exactly. You can make piece. it a bit smaller, but yeah. we can show it for an example. So if this this one fails, yeah, then it doesn't shock load very much. It just goes up to there. Yeah, that seems, that seems like the best system yeah. to use. I'll show you if you want to group uh, three ice screws. Let's say you, two is perfect if they're really good, but if you're not happy with one of them, how to link the three of them. Okay. So I'm going to use a long sling. <laughs> you clip all the points in. This one. You want to link all the points in, a, in an equalized way. Yeah. And then you decide where, where you want to belay, and then you make an overhand knot. Bomb proof. Bomb proof. But if you're planning on top roping um, a lot, these over the, over the course of the time you are top roping, over the course of the day, they could melt. So you, what you want to do is do an abolokov. An abolokov, right. Let's do well, it. let's find out how to do that. Okay. <laughs> In a seamless link from ice climbing to bouldering, our product of the week this week is a super aggressive bouldering shoe. 
Easter is just around the corner, which is a perfect opportunity to get out and go climbing. Personally, I'd recommend Font because it's amazing. This, the 510 high angle, is the perfect font shoe. Super aggressive, really stiff midsole, which forces your toes down to the end, and the heel section feels amazing on your feet, really, really tight. Yes, it's not the most comfortable thing in the world, but who cares? This is for your super hard projects, when you want to put your feet in a shoe, climb really hard, and then take it off and drink some wine. We're selling this shoe for 110 euros in the Epic TV shop, down from 123 euros. So make sure you pick one up, get out there, and get climbing. That's it for this week. Have a great weekend.